All right, in this problem, we have five different parameterizations. And I know just looking at each of these, that all of the points in each one of these parameterizations is going to be on the circle with radius one, or the unit circle. How do I know that? Well, if I consider x squared plus y squared with any of these five parameterizations, what I'm going to get in either order is cosine squared, plus sine squared. And I know from my trig identities that cosine squared plus sine squared equals one. So I know that x squared plus y squared equals one, which is the unit circle, a circle of radius one. Okay, well this problem kind of tells you that. The question that we're asked is, where does each parameterization start? Where does each parameterization end? And in what direction do our x and y values travel as time runs from zero to two pi? So unfortunately, there's really no way to do this other than inspecting each one of these parameterizations. Okay, for our first parameterization, what happens at t equals zero? Well, x is going to be negative cosine of zero, which is negative one. y is going to be negative sine of zero, which is zero. So this parameterization starts at this point over here, x equals negative one, y equals zero. And if we consider our unit circle to be the face of a clock, then this point here is at nine o'clock. And we really don't have to go any further because we know that this parameterization starts at nine o'clock, so our first answer is going to be D. We might have to go more in depth than that in the other problems. Let's take a look at the second parameterization. And for this parameterization, at time equals zero, our X value is gonna be the sine of zero, which is zero, and our Y value is gonna be the cosine of zero, which is one. All right, so for this problem, we are starting at the point zero, one, which is up here at 12 o'clock. And automatically, we know the answer to this question must be A, because there is no other answer that starts at 12 o'clock. Let's just be happy that went quickly and move on to the next one. At time equals zero for our third parameterization, our x value is going to be the negative sine of t, which is zero, and our y value is gonna be the negative cosine of t, which is negative one. So this parameterization starts us off at the point zero, negative one, which is six o'clock. All right, again, we only have one answer that has a six o'clock in it, so we know that this answer is going to be b. Let's move on to problem four. At time equals zero, x equals cosine of zero, which is one. Y equals the negative sine of zero, which is zero. This parameterization is going to start us off at three o'clock. And we have three options that start us off right there at three o'clock. So the next question is, in which direction are we going to be headed? As t increases, are our points going to go clockwise or counterclockwise? We could pick a test point, like maybe pi over two, and see which direction we're headed. So if we plug in t equals pi over two, we have cosine of pi over two, that is zero. So we have x equals zero. At t equals pi over two, our y value is gonna be negative sine of pi over two, which is negative one. So if we look over here at our clock face, as time increases, our points are heading towards six o'clock, that is clockwise. And the only choice we have up here with the points moving clockwise is answer C. So we're gonna stop right there. We have one more parameterization, so let's check it out. Let's start at T equals zero again. Our X value is going to be the cosine of zero, which is one. And our Y value is gonna be the sine of zero, which is zero. So again, we are starting here at three o'clock. So again, we have three options. Let's see what direction we're traveling. I'm just gonna go ahead and plug in pi over two again for my T value. If I do that over here, we get cosine of pi over four. Four. And the cosine of pi over four is the square root of two over two. Okay, for our y value, we get the sine of pi over four, which is again, the square root of two over two. So this parameterization starts up here at three o'clock and it starts moving counterclockwise. And after pi over two, we end up right here at this point, the square root of two, the square root of two. So we're moving counterclockwise here. The question is, are we gonna go two times around this clock or are we gonna go from three o'clock to nine o'clock? Well, if you don't know the answer already, we can choose our our last time value, our time is gonna increase all the way to two pi. If we plug two pi in right here, we get the cosine of pi. That is going to be x equals negative one. If we plug in t equals two pi here, we get sine of pi, which tells us that y is going to be zero. That means on our clock face up here, our values for this parameterization are gonna go all the way over to the point, negative one zero, which is nine o'clock. And our final answer here is going to be f. All right, I hope that this gives you some insight into the fact that we can parameterize circles in a lot of different ways. In some parameterizations, we might move clockwise, sometimes counterclockwise, and in those parameterizations, our x and y values move at different speeds, depending on what we put into our sine and cosine functions. All right, let's take a look at another problem in the next video. I'll see you there.